Greetings YouTube, how's it going? This is Phoenicorn from Art Graphics Hub. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be drawing this cute little pug here. Be sure to stay right to the end to see the coloured version, but here we go. First thing we're going to need are the references and they will be in the links below. So be sure to check those out, but away we go. First things first, let's get the quick sketch done. Start with a quick circle, just to work out where the face goes and the angles of everything. Um, uh, to make the shape and form dynamic, I use a curve, just for, you know, just to make him seem a bit more lifelike. Normally I'd map everything out with basic shapes, but this time I just felt like going straight into the face, because who can say no to that adorable little mug there? In case you couldn't tell, I'm a huge dog person. I love little dogs and their cute little fuzzy eyes. So expressionate, yes they are. But I'm getting a little distracted here by those cute little eyes. Let's talk about the brushes I'm using. In case you couldn't tell, I am on uh, digital art. I mainly focus on digital art because I don't like cleaning up to be honest. Most of my drawings tend to just use um, uh, ordinary hard round brushes, so you could just as easily use a pen or pencil. So feel free to draw along with me. It's really fun and real way to relax during a stressful time. So with this cute little pup sorted out, let's go on to line art. For this, it's a bit different. Because I've not got the steadiest of hands, hey, I'm not a surgeon, I tend to use um, a, a computer program to actually help me with the lines. Yeah, it sounds like cheating, but you know, one of them things, so whatever gets the job done, really. I'm still actually technically drawing them, but uh, it enables me to actually just alter the lines and tweak them to get them really sharp and smooth, which I love that look, to be honest. In the last few seconds, you actually see the uh, line shape change slightly. This is, again, an advantage of using digital art. I can actually change the look of the lines without actually having to redraw them again and again and again. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to do that, but I really enjoy the look and feel of it, like I said. Now I'm just going to import this line art, which I'm very happy with. Import it into another program just to get the painting done. I'm using six shades here. This is just um, to make things easier on myself. Three shades for the main body and uh, three more for the uh, nose and eyes. I feel the nose and eyes are kind of close. Look, they kind of look close with the um, uh, values. And by values, I mean uh, light and dark. The eyes are quite dark and the nose and mouth area is quite dark as well. So for the dark shade, I tend to just follow the line art round on the one side. This tends to give the effect I like, and uh, it's also quick and easy to get done. Truth be told, I actually just like shutting my brain off during this time and just, um, just painting. It's, again, it's just really relaxing for me. And I recommend anyone who uh, likes to draw and paint, do, do it this way, at least try it this way. Just kind of make guesstimates of where the um, uh, highlight should be and yeah, you're off. You're done. And as promised, here's the coloured version. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Really, I just wanted an excuse to draw something cute, to be honest. And uh, that little pug was absolutely adorable. Before I finish, I'd like to know in the comments if you have any uh, cute pets. If you're a dog person, cat person, just let me know. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, I really appreciate it. Leave comments, I, re I try and read every single one. Subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications, you know the drill. If you want more, we've got playlists and also recommended videos which should appear any second now. Bam! That'll be it for me today and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!